Welcome to Slain Excel Dragons video number three. These are the videos that accompany the book. Hey, we're in chapter three. This is the second video for chapter three. This is pages 40 to 43. We're going to talk about table format structure, what that means, because you can't do data analysis and a lot of cool things in Excel unless you know what table format structure is. And then we'll look at just one data analysis feature Excel in Excel sorting. We looked at pivot tables also. Now let's go over to our workbook, Excel is fun start video, if you, start file, if you want to download it, you can click on the link directly below the video. We're on the sheet tables, and here we have a data set. Now this is um, exactly what we saw in the last video when we did sum ifs and pivot table, but here we want to formally define this at table format structure. Field names, that means a variable name or a column header at the top of each column, it defines what gets to be put into this column. So only dates are in this column, only sales rep names, only the product name, only the unit sold, etc. Field names must be in the first row, and records, these are transactional records. Here we're making a, a sale, but it also could be a transact or a um, employee record or a customer record with customer information like telephone number and address, etc. Records are in rows. So field names at the top, records in rows, and no blanks anywhere inside. Right click on column C, insert, never. You don't want that. I'm going to point to the smart tag and say clear formatting. You can't have that, control Z. You also can't have right click three row header, insert, fill clear formatting. You can't have that, so no blank rows or columns. I'm going to control Z for undo. You definitely don't want blank field names either. Control Z. Now, you can sometimes do data analysis if there are blanks in the data set. But boy, you want to try and avoid blanks like the plague. Uh, later when we study pivot tables, we'll see how this causes a problem when we're uh, doing monthly sales data summary reports. Control Z. All right. So there it is. Those are the important things. Field names are in the first row. Records are in rows, all the subsequent rows. No blanks anywhere. The final thing is you've got to have a blank column surrounding the uh, outside edge, and you have to have a blank row. And then you can have either row headers or column headers. Now, if I right click insert, right click insert, that's fine too. There can be blanks all the way around, but there has to be at least blanks all the way around or control ZZ. If not uh, blanks, then row headers or column headers. Here's what you want to try to avoid, and this gets people in big trouble when they do pivot tables or sorting. Let's just say you type a note right here. As soon as you try to um, do a pivot table or sort or filtering, the um, data analysis features sorting pivot tables will consider this part of the table and add this extra blank column, and it can mess everything up. So if you want to put a note, just put it there. And you'll see through the, the rest, the other 150 sheets in this data set and the uh, 500 pages in the book, all the data will follow this uh, setup here. And there'll always be a blank column before we jump to something else. I'm going to click Escape. No problem. Once you have that data set up, that way you can do pivot tables like we saw in our last video. Now, in this video, I want to show you sort. And what we're going to do is we're going to sort a column so all the Tinas come together, all the Sheilas to come together. What's so amazing about the sort is if I highlight this record right here and just add a color, any color at all, when I sort this, the entire record will move and be perfectly sorted. All right, let's see how to do this. I'm going to go either up to the Home and the Sort button. A to Z or Z to A, I'm going to click Escape. Later when we do lots of data analysis, we'll be working from this tab here. And there they are, the A to Z and Z to A. So the data set is set up perfectly in table format structure. Rule number two is you have one cell only selected. Just like in our last video, we saw the pivot table. Remember, we clicked in, one, clicked in one cell only? All right, I'm going to click in the column I want, only one cell, and then go A to Z. This will do the. Uh, earlier letters in the alphabet at the top, later letters at the uh, end. So I'm going to click it, A to Z, 
and just like that. And I did this just to prove to you, right? And sure enough, it moved perfectly. All right, now let's try a different sort, not on a text column, but on a numeric column. Now, instead of going up to the data and this, you can actually right click the single cell in the column you want to sort. And let's do sort Z to A, largest to smallest. And broop, right there, you can see Sheila has the second largest sale. All right, um, so we talked about table format structure and how we have to have data set up in order to use data analysis features like sort and pivot tables and there'll be other advantages also. In our next video we'll see how to convert a table set up properly into an official Excel table and the advantages that that brings. All right, see you next video.